Ano pong mga measures put in place by you, some corrupt people there sa HLURB or DHSUD na para hindi na maulit tong ganitong klaseng kabalastugan? What we need is a policy put in place para hindi na maulit itong ganitong klaseng korupsyon. May kastanga. Huwag kang magtangatangahan, sir. You're not going to be an attorney if tanga ka. Ang kasinunod rin niyo. That's why I want the presence of Konsungi here. Because you guys cannot answer. My God, this, this is already our third hearing. Mga senador, ginisa muli ang mga taga-developer sa ikatlong hearing ng Committee on Labor Employment on Human Resources Development sa Senado. Dahil sa hindi pagsasabi ng totoo sa mga tanong sa kanila. Natanong kasi ni Sen. Rafi Tulfo kung ano ang pwede gawin solusyon ng direktor para hindi na muli maging kurap ang ahensya dahil talamak na de umano. Pero di ni Tedet talaga sila at nagtangatangahan pa, hindi rin napigilan ni Sen. Jingoy Estrada magalit dahil bonibinta pala nila ang mga kondo kahit may kaso pa sa korte at papano raw kung matalo sila e de kawawa ang mga nakabili ng units, ito panuuri ng balitaktakan ng mga senador at kung mag-subscribe ka na kung bago ka lang sa tin channel para palagi ka updated sa mga balita dahil iba na ang may alam. I would like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Tulfo. May have to you want may, you may have, want to have uh, uh, an opening statement. Uh not right now, Mr. Chair, but later, I'll reserve it for later when uh, the question and answer portion is uh, already on. Can yes, you may start the uh, ball rolling, uh, Senator Dula. Um, I don't see the presence of the uh, representative from the HLURB. Yeah. Ah, ikaw. Ah, the H is you should NCR. Okay, and you're the uh, regional director? Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Attorney uh, Dural, pwede pakisabi sa amin yung proseso uh, bago mabigyan ng permit to sell ang isang developer tulad ng DMCI? Sir, uh, first thing po, sir, is before the issuance ng license to sell, meron po muna ang application for the issuance ng development permit, sir. Development permit, yes, okay. Gotcha. And then? And may mga different requirements po, sir, and among po doon is, vital po doon is yung sa title, sir. What, what was that again? Vital po doon yung... Vital? Vital po yung sa title, sir. Okay. Vital po sa title, po yung po development permit. Yes, ano po yung nakalakip doon sa development permit? What are you looking for in uh, before issuing a development permit? So, sir, uh, dapat sa title, sir, mayroong... Free from liens po sa na The title, free from lien. Lien or... That is the major requirement. Okay, what else? After that, sir, although sa de development permit level, sir... So, ibig sabihin, when you say free from lien, dapat dun sa titulo walang annotation. Supposedly, sir. Supposedly. Yes, sir. Okay. Then... So, direct to the, direct to the point na agad ako. So, bakit nabigyan ng development permit? But, pero bago dyan. So, nabigyan ng development permit yes, ang... DMCI. Yes, sir. May, okay. There's a chance po kasi, sir, na... Nabigyan sila. Yes or no lang, di ba? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kaya hindi naman sila makapag-develop yes, ng yes, high-rise condo doon sa pinag-usapan ngayon kung hindi dito sa development permit that was given them. Yes, sir. And sabi nyo, isa sa requirement, yes, dapat para may issue ng development permit, kailangan free from lien yung title. Yes, sir. Now, yung pong itulo sa DMCI na pinakita sa inyo, Dito po sa property na pinag-uusapan natin ngayon. Anong pangalaw ng DMCI itong property? Sabi mo sa kanila. Iberwood, Your Honor. Iberwood Residences. Iberwood Residences. Okay. Meron ba kayo nakitang annotation doon sa titulo? Yes, sir. Meron po mga annotation, sir. Meron ding encumbrances, which ang nag-file naman ng encumbrances ng notice of dispendence, sir, is yung DMCI, sir. Tingnan mo na. So, meron kayo nakitang annotation. Yes, sir. At alam nyo na ito is under dispute at nasa korte yes, yung kaso. So, bakit niyo po gino yung pag-i-issue ng development kasi permit? Sa, in practice, sa DP, sir, naalaw po yan kasi meron pa naman pong license to sell, sir. No. No. Sabi mo kanina, primary requirement para sa development permit to make sure free from lien yung title. Yes, yes, sir. Very basic yan, attorney. Lawyer ka, di ba? Yes, sir. Now, 
bakit nakalusot sa inyo na merong annotation doon tungkol sa problema nito sa litigation at nasa korte and yet pinayagan ninyo. Yun lang po. Sir, if I may say, sir, uh, we don't know po sa wisdom nung sino pong that time ang original director. So you don't know the wisdom of the person who approved it. Who, who did approve Yes, for si What's his name? Engineer Tan, sir. Engineer Tan. Pero bago approve ng Engineer Tan, sino pa yung mga taong kasama doon sa kailangang kausap niya at mag-agree sa kanya na ito ay dapat i-approve natin despite the fact na merong annotation sa titulo. Who is or who are? Kung marami man sila, those people. And where are they now? Nag-evaluate po, sir. Uh, yes, where are these yes. people? We have Engineer Julius Tan, sir. Engineer, Engineer Julius Tan? And po si... Okay. Uh, Annabel Narce po. Is Annabel an engineer? Uh, engineer po, sir. Engineer Annabel Narce. Narce po. Annabel, ano po? Narce. And, Narce, okay. And then who else? Engineer Julius Tan, sir. Then Julius Tan, po, Annabel yeah. Narce. Sino pa po? Yun lang po, sir. Tapos ang mag-approve po si Alfredo Hill Tan, sir. Alfredo Hill Tan. Tan. What is the, excuse me, what is the designation of Alfredo Hilton? He's the regional officer at that time, sir. Regional? Officer, sir. Officer? Yes, sir. What regional is director. the designation? Huh? Regional director. Anong uh, function niya? Anong... Siya, pong parang, uh, siya pong director, sir, ng HLR at that time, sir. He is the one who approves? Yes, sir. He was the one who gave the go signal? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's dead, sir. Patay na? Retired. Yes, sir. Yes, how about engineer uh, Julius and engineer Annabel? Retired, na, sir. They're all retired, yes, sir. Okay. Now, magkano nito si Alfredo at saka si Julius? Sir, pagkakalam ko, sir, kapilyedo lang po, sir. Maybe even if they're retired, uh, Mr. Chair, we can invite these two people, these two engineers, engineer Julius and engineer Annabel, in our next hearing. Huh? Next, in our next year hearing. Now, Ang aking pong pinagtataka rito, nangyari ito noon, then there's the possibility mangyari ulit ito. Ano pong mga measures put in place by you, some corrupt people there sa HLURB or DHSUD na para hindi na maulit tong ganitong klaseng kabalastugan? Attorney Doral. I think the, kung ano sa in place naman po yung uh, administrative cases or just in case, sir. No, I'm not talking about after the fact. I'm talking about before it happens. Kasi tapos na eh. Nag-retire na ito. For all we know, yung isang patay na. Hindi ko alam kung nasa langit, nasa impyerno siya. Yung dalawa, retired na. Hindi natin alam kung nasa Bahamas na ito o kung saan na nagpapakasasa na sa pera na binigyan ng DMCI. I don't know. We don't know. So ano nga yung systems that you put in place, policy and procedures, to make sure itong kabalastugan na ginawa ng mga tao ninyo dati ay hindi na po maulit. Ikaw ang director, you should know. Yes, sir. So, ano pong nilagay nyo? Ang pano po, sir, is we are, ha we are, I'm having a reserve when this... You're having a what? Yung this case was called upon, sir. Kasi... No, sir, you're not answering my question. Uh, you're hearing me, you can hear me, but you're not listening. I'm sorry, sir. For the end time, anong proseso, polisiya, takalan, ang inyo pong inilatag, nang sa gayon, hindi na po mangyari ito. Kasi ang binabanggit mo after the fact, eh, meron kasi kayo mga sanctions, discipline. I don't need that. We don't need that. What we need is a policy put in place para hindi na maulit itong ganitong klaseng korupsyon. I'm sure korupsyon to eh. Hindi naman itong si director, hindi naman basta-basta siya papayag na babaluktutin niya, susuwayin niya yung patakaran yung ng perang itinapal sa kanya. Ganon din itong dalawa. May perang itinapal. Kung magkano, eh, sila sila nakaalam. Do you agree? They will not violate yung pong patakaran na sabi nyo para mabigyan ng development permit 
Ang isang tulad ng DMCI ay kailangan free from lien yung uh, titulo. Nakita nila na may annotation. And yet, gino nila. So, you agree na mayroong corruption doon? Yes or no lang? I could not say. Yeah, you just answer. Yes or no lang? Hindi. Kasi kung you cannot say, then tanga ka, sorry. Then you're stupid. You shouldn't be the director of uh, DHSUD. Come on, don't make us tanga. Wag kang magtanga-tangahan, sir. You're not going to be an attorney if tanga ka. I, I have high respect for all attorneys because you guys studied for so many years and have to pass bar, now, which is very difficult to pass. Okay? Now, don't tell me with a very simple ans question, uh, answer that I need from you from a, diff from a simple, simple question that needs simple answer. Nahirapan ka. Pakitanong lang. Pakisagot lang. Abogado ka, sanay ka magkipagbakbak sa korte siguro noon. Yes, sir. Now, ulitin ko. Yung ginawa nito tatlo na dinayin ng isang cardinal rule para makapag-issue ng development permit sa isang developer upang makapagbenta ng mga condominium units. Binalakad nila yung patakaran. May corruption? Is it because of corruption or not? Yes or no lang? May corruption doon? Sir, uh, wala. May sir, sagot ko lang. Meron wala lang. Meron wala lang. Hindi mo, don't say na I don't know. Kasi kung hindi, baka ipakulong kita sa baba. Kasi niluno ko mo kami. Can we put them under oath, Mr. Teacher? Muna, para uh, may madali na natin pakulong mo ito. May comsec is uh, instructed to administer the oath. Okay. Uh, Bago mo sagutin, mag-oath ka muna. Can we... Uh, can we ask the DISUD representatives to stand up? DISUD, please rise. Warning muna, no? Bawa kayo mag-out. Tulang sinabi ni Mr. Chair. Paskong Pasko, doon kayo nakakulong sa baba. Kung kinalamin na, namin gagawin yan, sa ngalan ng katotohanan, sa ngalan ng taumbayan, and we will not hesitate to do that. Uh, please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth before this inquiry of the Committee on Labor. Please say yes. Yes. Okay, please be seated. Attorney Doral. Doral. Yes, sir. You answered the question of uh, Senator Tulfo. So after having you put on oath, under oath, now, ulitin ko po question ko, be careful. Yung po ginawa. Itong tatlo, Engineer Julio Stan, Engineer Annabelle Narce, Director Alfredo Hill Tan, na binayin nila isang tinalari para makapag-issue ng development permit sa isang de developer bago makapagbenta ng mga units. They violated that cardinal rule, number one rule, na dapat walang annotation sa titulo. Nakita nila may annotation and yet they still went ahead. May corruption ba doon o wala? Yes or no? Ayaw ko lang, I don't know. Dahil kung sinabi mo, I don't know, pakukulong kita sa baba because nagsisinwaling ka, you know better. Yes or no lang po ang sagot. Kasi sir, uh, I... Sir, pakisagot lang ng yes or no because if you said, ngayon pa lamang, I'm telling you, if you, uh, if your answer is, I don't Then, ipakukulong kita. I promise you. Kamusek, pakiready na yung kulong sa baba. Magpapas ko dito ka makukulong. Christmas na Christmas, dito ka magpakulong. I don't, I don't mind kung isasagot mo no. Yes. When you say no, because I'm stupid, that's why my answer is no. Yes, because I'm smart enough, that, that's why my answer is yes. Huwag nyo lang kami ulit. Sinirespeto namin kayo Bilang mga abogado, respetuhin niyo naman kami bilang mga senador. And we've been doing this for a long, for a long time, for several times already, so hindi na kami pwedeng lokohin. So pakisagot lang po, yes or no? May corruption doon, yes or no? I think, sir, no, sir, no, sir. There's no corruption. Yes, sir. Why is that? Bakit walang corruption? Yes, sir, uh, after ng issuance on development permit, sir, there's still a chance na 
they can submit the no income as a license to sell, sir. And tapos for the fact, no, so sorry, no, di ba ulitik o cardinal rule? No makita lang, no makita nila ng annotation. Dapat doon pa lang, sa step 1 pa lang, may balik na yung application. Hindi na dumating sa step. Sinasabi mo kasi, kasi mayroon pang chance, di ba? Yes, sir. So, ano yung chance na yun? Yes, sir. Uh, so based on the record, sir, ano yung notice of this pendence pa lang pa? Notice, hindi pa, pa siya convert for a record, sir. Not... Oo nga, sir. Di ba may may step yan? Yes, sir. Sa first step lang, Nakita niyo na agad na may annotation. Sana hindi ka na tinanggap yung application. Di ba? Yun yung sinasabi ko. Uh, before that, uh, I'd like to acknowledge the presence of uh, Senator Robin Hood Padilla. So that is corruption. That's my opinion. Salwat sa tanga mo opinion. Your opinion is so tanga. Kahit mo kung bakit ka naging director o natakala-tangahan ka lang. With the, uh, with the permission of Senator Tulfo, uh, Attorney Dural, if you were in the shoes of uh, Mr. Tan, who passed away okay, when he was director, would you approve the development permit citing the circumstances uh, regarding the land dispute? Are you going to if you were the director who was approving this uh, development permit, are you at that time approbahan mo bibigyan mo ba sila ng development permit? Hindi po sir. Hindi. Hindi po sir. Contrary to what your predecessors, itong sila Mr. Tan and the rest of uh, the names that you mentioned. Yes. Sir. Why? Yes, sir. Nasa ako na because there is a land dispute. Yes, sir. Uh, so, bakit the uh, Ino kaya nung, nung mga nakarang opisyal? Uh, I don't know what's there so, on that, sir. So why don't you revoke it? Do you still have the power to to uh, to revoke the issuance of the development we permit? Can as, we can huh? issue a cease and desist order for them to stop selling, sir. Parang ganun, sir. Nagawag na kayo to stop selling? May, we sent already a notice to them. To stop selling? Uh, usually, sir, we have due process. Why don't you uh, order the, them to stop selling the, the units? Yes, sir, uh, we have asked them to explain, sir. Why not? Then after that, we... When? When did you ask them to explain? Last week, sir, we, this, this information came to us just last week, sir. Well, when are you going to revoke the order approving the development permit? We have issued already, sir. So uh, we give, we've give them the DMCI time to make an explanation. So we part How many days? Ten days, sir. H have they answered? Not yet. Not yet, sir. Not yet, sir. That's How many days already? How many days did you get to When did you write them? How many days did you get to We wrote them December 6, sir. December 6? So it will lapse on December 16? Yes, sir. Are you are you preparing your letter? We haven't received the letter yet, sir. We registered mail, sir. Huh? We sent it through registered mail, sir. Registered mail? Ano na yan? December 11 na yan? Wala pa, sir, kami nagkatanggap. If you have been to submit your order, we will going to comply immediately. No, we can have them also receive no personal sir, if ever. Where is the evidence that you uh, uh, mailed it by ano, yung registered mail? It's possible naman din lang matanggap. We haven't attached it yet yeah? dito, sir. Sa record, sir. Nasa records pa po namin. Nasaan? Pakita niya dito. This is our letter, Your Honor. Uh, Begin the page. And if you find them guilty of any violation, so are you willing to to order them to stop selling yes, the yes, units? Yes, sir. How many units have you already sold? 
I, I think you are not the oh, uh, 131. 131. Out of? Hindi naman na ito. Check here. Nasa inyong, ano, hindi nyo ba kinunan ng picture na, na nilegister nyo? So, Sulat ito eh, pa. Yes, po, yan po yung pinakwa namin saan. You, you show this to them kung meron sila ng tanggap. Do I have, can, can I do a follow-up question, Mr. Oh, uh, 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 I'm not finished with you, Attorney Doral. Uh, for the meantime, Attorney Gascon. Um, sir, 131 po yung, yung affected, uh, I think. Out of? Huh? Out of? 965, Your Honor. So you have already sold 131 units? For the affected uh, building, Your Honor. For the affected building, out of? Uh, 965. So, you have a project, Your Honor. If you say that they stop selling, what will happen to your sales? Mr. Chair, I'm informed that there are some of the people that there's an ongoing hearing here in the Senate because there are a lot of people who have made the decision of DMCI, along with HLURB, and in the court, etc. Have they been informed? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I think uh, last week we have uh, met the uh, the Ivorywood residences because uh, they came. And what was the reaction? Of course, Your Honor, there, uh, some of them are worried. And okay. of course, we uh, kinausap po namin sila na 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 DMC will take care of this. How would you take good care of this? Uh, yung mga affected yung, uh, if, if, if in case, uh, of course, we will going to compensate them or we will going to, to uh, whatever they paid, we will going to return it to them, your honor. Reimburse. You will reimburse the the owners, correct? Yes, your honor, the affected. You will reimburse nyo, kung wala na sila mga kukontirahan, paano? Uh, Pero wish yun itong ginawa nyo. In, in the first place, even before the Senate hearing started, you knew for a fact that there was a land dispute, okay, that is pending before the courts. In fact, uh, you know, results is adverse, adverse to your company. And why did you, why did you still start selling this, uh, these units to, to these buyers? Kawawa naman ito mga bumili ng units ninyo. And now you're telling them. Pagkatapos, pagka-adverse yung ruling sa amin, kukompensate nyo. Alam ba, wala akong bumili. Ano natalo kayo? I-kukompensate nyo ako. Eh, wala na ako ibang tirahan. Saan ako pupunta? Saan ako titira? Uh, one of the ways that we're going to, ano, for your honor, is, of course, we will look into them. Another, uh, we will offer them another place to, to, uh, eh, kundi sila pumayag. That's the we're going to the we're going to discuss it for for the. Ang problema niyo, ang lalakas ng loob niyo, nagbebenta kayo ng mga units na alam niyo na may kaso pa. Para nakakasiguro kayo na makakuha yun ng favorable ruling sa korte. Ang lakas ng loob niyo. That's why I want the presence of Konsungi here. Because you guys cannot answer. My God, this, this is already our third hearing. You're asking for a... You're praying for a favor, favorable decision from the court? Again, what if adverse your ruling say you? you? You want to answer, Mr. Austria? Yes. Uh, regarding your question on why we proceeded with the development, as I said in the previous hearing, uh, it's because, to our knowledge, no, uh, we... Mga bay ang panto dito ng mga senador? Paano ito nabigyan ng permit at paano ito napatayo ang mga kondo kung may kaso pala ito sa korte? 
Papano ang mga nakabili ng unit kung sakaling matalo sila sa kaso? Malamang sa kangkungan pupulutin ang mga nakabili dahil pahirapan ang pag-refund ngayon? At tama ang mga senador dahil sa korupsyon kaya gumagana lahat? Kayo ano sa tingin nyo mga bay? Makisali sa comment section at salamat sa panunood kung nagastuhan mo e-like ang ating video at salamat.